Good afternoon, this is Dr. P. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, our today's topic is uh, stroke diagnosis and treatment. So it's gonna be break, I'm gonna break this into four parts. So first of all, we're gonna mention, we're gonna discuss something about stroke. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more information on health issues and health conditions treatment test diagnosis so uh as i said this topic is a uh, stroke diagnosis and treatment so this is part one so we're going to just make sure a few things about stroke uh so how will you be able to diagnose if somebody is having a stroke first you have to think about the physical signs and symptoms of a uh, stroke first the physical signs is first you have uh, when people have stroke you have a uh, facial paralysis whereby one part of the face will be dropping like this. Then you have numbness or weakness in the face, arm, leg, especially on one side of the body. Then you also have the person with utter mental status. They will be confused. They have difficulty speaking. They have difficulty in understanding, understanding speech. Um, they also have problem with their vision. So they have problem seeing in one eye or both eyes. So, what about ambulation? They have difficulty walking. They will have dizziness. They will have loss of balance. They have lack of coordination. Also, you have a, they have a severe headache that of unknown cause. So, those are signs of a stroke. But if sometimes if you see that if these symptoms goes away after a few minutes, you will know that you have a TIA. TIA means transient ischemic attack. So you need to see your specialist, your doctor, that is a sign of oncoming uh, stroke. But as you said, what are other diagnoses of a uh, stroke? We, we do what called the blood testing. So the blood testing, we do a series of uh, blood tests during the process of when somebody have stroke or when they are treating somebody with stroke. They have to do the CBC. In the CBC, whereby you have to check the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the blood platelets. So you have to check the blood glucose so that, so you know, to see if the, the blood glucose is high or low. That's that you are talking about, HA1C. Then we have to talk about the, the lipid, the cholesterol, the, the total lipids, the AGL level, the LDL level, LDL level. Then we have to do the blood chemistry, you know. Then uh, the blood chemistry, then we have to do the coagulation test. Checking for PTT, the PTT, the PT, the PTT, the PTT and the iron arrow. Then we also have to do the platelet uh, count. So, and um, in further tests they use to diagnose stroke, they do the CT scan. You know, so the CT scan whereby they have to take a dye into the bloodstream, to your blood vessels in your neck, and also in your brain for them to get a view. If there's a clock in the carotid arteries of your neck, or if there's a clock in that part of your brain, then they have to do the MRI. You know, those are used to diagnose ischemic stroke and also for hemorrhagic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke, as you know, that's bleeding, ischemic stroke, that's when there's a blood clot. Then they also have to do the carotid ultrasound. In a carotid ultrasound, that's, uh, you can have to view the carotid artery of your neck area that is supplying the, the brain. Then they also have to do the cerebral angiogram. In cerebral angiogram, this is a kind of test whereby the doctor has to insert a thin flexible tube that's a catheter through a small incision usually in your groin area. They will just take you to the major arteries, into your carotid arteries or your vertebral arteries. So then they will do for that, they will inject a dye into your blood vessels to make them visible under the x-ray imaging. So this procedure will give a detailed view of the arteries in your brain and in your neck area. Also then they also have to do the echocardiogram. An echocardiogram, that's whereby they, that will give you detailed images of your, of your brain area, of your heart, and also of, of, your, of your heart. You know, the echocardiogram can find a source of clot in your brain that may have traveled from your heart. 
to your brain and cause a stroke. So that's why they have to do a detailed images of your heart echocardiogram. It's important. Uh, so thank you for listening to this uh, part one series of uh, stroke diagnosis and treatment. So I will see you guys in part two. So this is Dr. P. So don't forget to subscribe for you to get to the next uh, part.